Hello my friends and welcome back to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? Now, out of the gate, if you've missed any of The Chews this week, I want to encourage you and invite you to stop this one right now and go back and look at the other Chews. They're not that long this week. We're running about four and a half, almost five minutes. It's important that you do that and then come back and watch this one it'll be worth your time now today we're looking at god is provision we've looked at seeking god god is the creator and yesterday we looked at god is love david said this in psalm 34 verse 10 the lions may grow weak and hungry but those who seek the lord lack no good thing. Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, and my God will meet all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. We're not going to pursue running after verse after verse looking at all the attributes of God this week, and we're not going to look at every single promise. We lose our focus our objective for this week, which is simply seeking God. We're talking about these attributes of God, if you will, who God is. He is these things. We're, we're talking about those to help begin to complete a picture. Not that we will ever get a complete picture of God in this life on this side of eternity. This is the idea. We need to be seeking God. Not because God is some cosmic Santa Claus or genie in the bottle. God doesn't simply grant requests. We need to be engaged in seeking God solely to know Him and to love Him as He loves us and to seek Him and a relationship with Him as He is seeking to have a relationship with us. Too often, we turn to God when, and in prayer when things get rough and things get tough, and then we are looking to, for God to make things right, to work things out the way we want them worked out. God is not an order taker, my friends. He isn't running a quick trip or a fast food joint. No, there are times in our life where we make a mess, a mess of things and our expectations are not met, and then we suddenly turn to God asking Him to fix things. The truth is, we need to be fixed, and we need to seek God to be in a relationship with Him for the sake of being in a relationship with the God who loves us and saves us. What if in our seeking God, we realize that God has already provided the best in mind for us? That God has a plan for our life that is beyond our imagination. What if we realize that seeking God first, we will find he is already pulling things together. Wouldn't that be enough? James chapter 4 verse 8, we read this. Come near to God and he will come near to you. It goes on to say, wash your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. Let's don't be double-minded. Let's be singularly minded on seeking God for who God is. Not for what he can give us. Not for what he will bless us with. But just because he is our God. Psalm 46.10, we read this. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Going back to our foundational passage for this week from Jeremiah 29, God's message to those in captivity was clear. God had a plan for them. Brothers and sisters, God has a plan for us to take care of us, to give us the same hope that he was giving those who were in captivity in Babylon. God is provision, and he has plans for us. His plans to provide for us our needs and to give us hope. Matthew 
chapter 6, verse 33, Jesus says this, but strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you as well. Everything we need, God is ready to provide for us. When we're seeking him, we will see his provision. We will see that the creator God who loves us is providing for us because God is provision. Here are my questions. Am I seeking the God who is provision? Do I know that God alone is able to fill my longings? Do I know in God's provision, I have everything that I've been seeking? Am I listening to the Holy Spirit right now? Am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life? Or am I going to choose my own way? Now I'm praying for us. Before we start going back and reading these verses, let's invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word. Let's have receptive hearts. If it's not receptive, let's ask the Holy Spirit to help us to have receptive hearts and minds to receive God's truths. And then let's ask the Father, to grant us the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit is leading us to do today. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.